I have a dream, Dr. King said, that former slaves, that the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will sit down at the table of brotherhood. And here we have this from the Atlanta Black Star. It was just disbelief, parent files a complaint against Atlanta Elementary School after learning the principal segregated students based on race. Kind of goes against everything Dr. King said right there. I'm grid seven, and this is a little local news brought to you by from Atlanta, Georgia, which ironically is the state in I Have a Dream. No, Alabama. Wrong state. He was talking to Alabama. Want to get that right? But no, deep south where blacks, whites, and everybody's... You, you wouldn't see people from their skin color. No, because he, he grew up in a time where there was segregation. And let's read on this one here and you'll understand an Atlanta mom filed a federal complaint against her daughter's Atlanta elementary school after she learned that the school was segregating students on the basis of race in the discrimination complaint filed with the US Department of Education's Office of Civil Rights parent Keila Posey claims that the principal at Mary Lynn Elementary School a K-5 school in the Atlanta public school system put a segregation policy in place because she thought it was best for all students. We've lost sleep trying to figure out why a person would do this, Posey told local TV news station WSB. Posey and her attorney, Sharice Shields, believes the policy is a violation of the Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. I'll agree. Posty found out last year that the elementary school would be putting black students in two different classrooms with two different teachers and white students into six, cl six classrooms with six different teachers. I'm just... The fact that they're even talking about segregation. We fought decades to get rid of this. And the very people we fought for are doing it. Now here we go. Posty protested the policy when it was allegedly put into place by Principal Sharon Briscoe last year. First, it was just disbelief, uh, disbelief that I was having this conversation in 2020 with a person that looks just like me, a black woman. Posty said, it's segregating classrooms. You cannot segregate classrooms. You cannot do it. I mean, I, I kind of have to agree. I, I just don't get it. Posey, who is vice president of operations for the Parent Teacher Association, according to the school website, uh, first learned of the separation after she contacted Briscoe to request that her daughter be placed in a specific classroom with a certain teacher. That's, that is every parent's right right there to do that. You know, to have their students... My mom did that with one of with one of my brother's teachers. No, he wasn't learning under that teacher. Not every student learns with every teacher, and you only have you no. Know, they've segregated to two classrooms for black, only two teachers. I mean, mm. continue. Briscoe replied that saying. That would not work because the teacher's classroom wasn't for black students, Posey claims. Now that Briscoe was the principal, wouldn't work because the classroom wasn't for black students? Uh, I'm, I'm flabbergasted by that one. Now, she said that's not one of the black classrooms, and I immediately said, what does that mean? I was confused. I'd have used a curse word in there, but I'm different. I asked for more clarification. I was like, we have those in the school? And she proceeded to say, yes, I have decided that I'm going to place all the black students in two classes, Posey said. Uh, according to Shields, 
Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964 says you cannot treat one group of people differently based upon race. And that is what's going on at Mary Lynn. I mean, I'm sorry, both both white and black here are being treated differently. I'm, it's, to continue on, Posty pushed for her daughter not to be placed in a segregated classroom. I explained to her she shouldn't be isolated or punished because I'm unwilling to go along with your un, with your illegal and unethical practice. And she, no, this mom is absolutely right. This is a, if a white person had done this, people would be crying racism. This is a racist thing. Article goes on in a continu- in a recorded phone call between Posty and an assistant principal. The administrator confirmed that it was the principal's idea to separate students. And she goes, the administrator says, "I just wish we had more black kids, and then some of them are in a bla- are in a class because of the services that they need." What does that mean? Are you saying black people? can't learn they have to they they, they need special you know, they're they're unable to learn things I, I I'm not sure what the hell that means and as far as I every everybody learns differently yeah but everybody can be smart regardless of race or gender Here's the district told WSB TV in a statement Atlanta public schools do not condone the assigning of students to a classroom based on race. The district concluded a review of the allegations, appropriate actions were taken to address the issue, and the matter was closed. Does not condone the assigning of students to classroom based on race. I don't know about you. To me, that is such a racist comment. No, we we look at these other things, no racism, and we got soccer players kneeling and all this other type of stuff, and shit like this is going on. And all this, the U.S. Department of Education is currently investigating the issue. Yeah, I don't know. To, to me, this is a complete slap in the face to anyone who fought for desegregation who wished for desegregation but that's just me let me know what you think am i right am i wrong is the principal right is the principal wrong let me know come on over to to rumble i'm over there also on youtube and uh leave a like comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next video.